Hello and welcome everyone. In my last video, I have shown you how we can create a simple Hello World .NET MAUI application. And we have built the uh, application and shown it on a build target or deployment target as just simple Windows machine. So this time in this lecture, uh, this will be more important things being taught. I mean, this lecture entire video is divided into two sections. In the first section, I will be using an Android emulator, which is available from Google and um, how I can deploy the application and change it and redeploy it on the Android emulator. But in the second part, it will be my actual mobile, Samsung mobile, smart mobile device where I have um, built and deployed the entire application. So watch on for some interesting time and please be with me through the entire duration so that you can understand each and every step of it because this is very important to under, understand and build a solid foundation for my for our onward journey into more complicated application and henceforth i will be using or i would like to use basically my own android phone a smartphone for building application and showing it to you so watch on now in this lecture i am going to go a step further and use a android emulator to build and run the same project so let's flip over to visual studio so this is my project now that we have built so now it is showing windows machine at the moment so let me click over this um, icon this arrow down arrow and we can see framework dotnet windows 8 windows 10.0.19041 and net 8.0 android so let's click this one okay we have got android emulators pixel 5 and this and all but let's click dot uh, net 8 android okay and it automatically comes up with this pixel 5 api 33 android 13.0 and then if i click on this arrow green arrow it comes up with android sdk preview license so let's accept this license and let's see what happens next so the emulator is starting so powered by android let's wait for more time it takes a few bit of time i guess pixel is starting At the same time, it is showing something deploying to Pixel 5 API. Now, this output window is showing you everything found device emulator 5554. So now, XAML, XAML hot reload initializing. Okay, so it has come. Hello world from Maui with hot reload and click me, click 10 times, 20 times, 30 times. Yay! So our application is now running on an Android device actually, Android simulator, but we can port this application to run on actual Android smartphone, you know, Samsung smartphone. So guys, in continuation to what I have just shown that I could port it very much on an Android simulator. Now let me show you how I have done it on my actual mobile, smart mobile. So I am showing you the output first, the result first. So you can easily see that it's Kaushik's S21. It is not one of the um, defined or predefined Android emulators, which you, which is just a simulator, but it's actual mobile, my actual mobile, which is showing. And I will tell you how I adjusted to make this uh, my mobile device, my smartphone, actual smartphone, work like a deploying target so if i click on click 20 times 22 times it will be showing there click 22 28 times and 30 times and the code is the same if you look into the code uh, hello world from maui on samsung so maui on samsung now if i change this you can see uh, my 
um, Samsung mobile okay and if I save and then hot reload so hello world from Maui on Samsung mobile all right so it's practically mirroring screen mirroring or mirroring on my desktop my actual mobile device now how I came to this breakthrough uh, milestone in our journey in the to learn the Maui application so hang on and please see till end because this is, is some skill and some technology involved over here it's not difficult but you need to listen to it carefully and follow it from start to end now what I needed to do is first of all I will get out from the screen because this is my uh, actual mobile screen so I will take it out from here and I will show you first of all you need to come to the settings and uh, it is developer uh, it is actually build build number okay so build number you need to tap uh, So I'm assuming that you have never actually developed on your Android mobile device and you are the first timer but I have already built it so still I will go through all the steps okay so click on this build number but this build number is already I mean because it is activated for developer option so it, it doesn't work here but in your case when you tap the build number a few times you will come up with a prompt you are now a developer it will pop up okay now next is to check the usb debug debugging status so again go to the setting screen and uh, here you can see easily that this is my mobile actual mobile device so um again let me bring the mobile uh, the setting screen from start and this time I will look for USB debugging okay on the uh, top handlens icon to search for this USB debug USB debugging although I have already enabled USB debugging but I will still like to show you from the beginning USB debugging so in my case you can see that the it is on developer option this is on USB debugging is on all right so uh, if it is off like this is slider is on the left side it will show off and it is great then you'll have to bring the slider to the right and make the debugging option um, on debugging option on okay now next is to plug your device to the computer which I've already done see you can um, you are unable to see this but you know I have plugged the um, where you can actually charge where you normally do for charging your mobile I put a um, USB-C cable and it is connected to my mini computer which is also having a USB-C input and um, when I first time plugged in I was allowed you will be I was allowed with a prompt I, I had to allow a prompt which says that um, uh, allow USB debugging, debugging and then I had to check always allow from this computer and click on allow okay so that looks like this if, because I cannot repeat those steps which I have already done but they look like this and this screen trust the device plug your device into the computer and you'll be prompted to allow USB debugging and you have to check always allow from this computer and click on allow all right so after doing this it still did not uh, see my machine or my smartphone as a deployment target so what I did was let me bring up this so you can see here Samsung SM G9918 Android this is my actual Android phone so what I have to do in that case if it does not appear as the deployment target here now it is apply uh, it is now showing so I have solved that issue of uh, 
our phone doesn't appearing or uh, not appearing on the deployment target so what i did was uh, open android sdk manager okay and click on yes and then in this android sdk manager on this tool you can see there are some extra so this is the google usb driver it was not installed earlier now i have installed it okay so it is all installed you can remove it but i have already installed it so i don't need to remove it because i will be intending to build more such applications over time on and to show you on my actual android device so i had to um, install it okay by clicking apply changes button and once it was uh, in place it was google usb driver was installed then i had this deployment target and when i click this deployment target you can see what happened um, so if i show it again to you so it is done building the project and if you bring the screen again so it will it's coming up hello world from mavi on samsung mobile click me click two times four times it is actually showing the same amount of uh, times clicked on my physical machine you like it and if you have liked it please share with your friends and uh, subscribe to this channel and put your valuable feedbacks thank you